there's a psychological study where violent criminals rated videos of pedestrians from one to ten from easy to victimize to I would avoid trying to victimize that person what they did was try to figure out who these violent criminals would attack and there was a couple things the the I like this one people that the the perpetrators would look at and say I would I probably wouldn't assault that person they had something called that they called organized quality <laughs> so the person just looks organized if you look squared away it's a real thing yeah. people sense that uh, the victims the way most of the people that were identified as oh I, I would attack that person they would say they had inconsistency in the way they walked so how should we walk how should we carry ourselves so I started di diving into this uh, into this rabbit hole a little bit NBC News had an article written by Steve Cardian who is a police officer who's in the Marine Corps uh, he's a detective he was an FBI defensive tactics instructor the crux of this article is that it takes a criminal about seven seconds to decide whether you're a good victim or a bad victim one of them is stride length forceful dynamic steps forceful dynamic steps medium length so you're not trying to like step too far because then you then you look awkward posture you know you got to stand up straight makes sense here's how you don't walk you don't want to take little small steps either yeah. little tiny steps because then you either look timid or you look like you're hurt or like you're limping and you're like a weak gazelle out out on the plains that's about to get taken down yeah. if you're slumped over you're hunched it means you're scared if you're if you're slower than everybody else you're probably injured you're probably some way weak you can't propel yourself with any amount of force you for sure can't get away that's kind yeah. of like what it feels yeah. like you know they can't they can't escape look how slow this guy is that was another one if your arm swing is too small that means you're timid yeah which you can imagine someone walking all huddled right. up right together um wh what i like about these things is it's kind of things like you said you don't even notice them. yeah so yeah. what if you're a person that does these things yeah or when you get nervous you do something yeah you need to pay attention to it and then on top of these things of more things to do is be looking around right you shouldn't be just obviously what do we see nowadays all the time it's people yeah. staring at their phone yeah. you should have your what we used to call in the seal teams head on a swivel mm -hmm. you know looking around looking at people yeah yeah that's, i see you big one. Yep. i'm tracking you yep. you don't have to stare at them but you just look at them yep. you know maybe you give them a little nod but you at least let them know i'm tracking you yeah i see what you're doing let them know that you see them and then that thereby takes away the element of surprise it puts them in a little discomfort which is here's the counterintuitive thing about looking at people sometimes people don't want to look at people because they're afraid you're going to start something right? yeah, yeah whereas just looking at people like looking around is what you should be doing and when you're not confident enough to look at someone that's a signal uh, in its yeah. own right so <laughs> yeah. if you're not looking at me i know you're not confident yeah right that's a yeah. very common thing